Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Algebra. I'm your host, Mr. Takeda, and I'm going to teach you some algebra right now. This is lesson 5.4 on solving special systems of equations. Hey, they're special. This should be fun, right? Like, it's a special day when we celebrate Thanksgiving or something like that. It's special. It's fun. The question is, can a system of linear equations have no solution or infinitely many solutions? We've, uh, we've done equations in the past where we have variables on both sides of the equation. And in some cases, we have no solution. Or we have infinitely many solutions. Is that the same case with um, systems of equations? Well, let's find out, shall we? Hey, look, here you go. Here's our answers already for us. I can have one solution. Now, this is what we've been working on so far by the graphing method, the substitution method, and the elimination method. One solution, one single point of intersection, and that would be our, um, our single solution there. But in, in a coordinate plane, two lines can be parallel. They can have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. We've already encountered, uh, when, we, when we were writing equations, we already encountered the uh, situation with parallel lines having the same slope and different y-intercepts. In that case, since parallel lines never intersect, we would have no solution. Infinitely many solutions means the lines are the same. The equations may look different when we start, but when we finish, we realize the two equations are exactly the same, and that means we'll have infinitely many solutions. Okay, so we only have a couple examples to look at here. This should be kind of quick, but let's go ahead and check out um, the first example here. Solve the system of linear equations. Okay, so I have y equals 2x plus 1, and y equals 2x minus 5. I'm going to use the substitution method to do this because since 2x plus 1 equals y, I can use that to substitute for y in that second equation, right? So 2x plus 1 equals 2x minus 5. Right? So basically I've did the substitution method here. Well, right away, you should be able to think back when we did solving equations with variables on both sides. And you look at this and you say, hmm, the 2x part's the same, but the plus 1 and the minus 5 are different. So what's going to happen here? Let's go ahead and solve this like we would solve any other equation with variables on both sides. First step, eliminate the variable term on one side. And whatever we do there, do the same on the other side. So I'm subtracting 2x from the left side which means I need to subtract 2x from the right side. Hmm. Amazingly, that cancels out equally on both sides, leaving me with this statement that 1 equals negative 5. Well, we know that is not true. So since I have a, an untrue statement here, this is no solution. These are, if we look at our examples over here, the slopes are the same with different y-intercepts. We have parallel lines. Let's check. Yeah, indeed, these are in slope-intercept form. So the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different. So this should be no solution. Okay. Well, we're going to solve this through substitution method in this case. And then I get left with a false statement. So that's no solution on a false statement. Let's take a look at... Uh, this one here. Now, this one here, I think uh, I would probably use um, the elimination method here, and I'm going to try. I'm going to try and uh, oh, I don't know. Let's let's try and eliminate the uh, the x in the first one. Or the, let's try and eliminate x's. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, but I'm going to try to eliminate x's here. So I'm going to multiply both things, both sides over here by a negative 2. That would give me a, a positive 4 here, right? So negative 2 times all that and negative 2 times that side. So this gives me a 4x. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y equals negative 6. Okay. So let's add these together and see what I get. 
4x plus negative 4x, 0x. Negative 2y plus 2y, 0y. <laughs> equals negative 6 plus 6, that's 0 also. Okay, so, so since 0x is 0 and 0y is 0, I can replace that. And I'll simplify. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 equals 0. This is a true statement. This is true. So this is infinitely many solutions. And again, this kind of goes back to what we did um, earlier. When we, when we solve, we eliminate one or both variables. But in this case, the variable terms are gone. And I get left with a true statement. A true statement with no variables. Constant equals a constant. Zero equals zero. Infinitely many solutions. All right. That's it. Oh, it's Charizard. Fire attack. Hey, I had a great time with you right now. Um, hope you did too. I'll see you in class. Have a great, great rest of your day. Bye-bye.